What's up, guys? Uh, my name is Cody. Welcome to the YouTube channel. Um, what we want to do here today with you guys is we want to talk a little bit about um, how we like to play offense and defense in this year's game. So uh, we're going to be debuting our Arizona, our updated Arizona and updated New England defensive guides, or uh, defense and offensive guides. So uh, we're rocking Arizona on offense. We're rocking New England on defense. Now, if you want to purchase these guides, um, they are only ten dollars right now. Um, you can actually purchase um, both of them together for only fifteen dollars, and then you can purchase, um, you know, you can purchase the first either or for 10 so the Arizona offense is going for 10 the New England defense is going for 10 and then the um, the uh, bundle so if you want to get both guides you can get both guides for um, only fifteen dollars so um, in my opinion that's not too shabby of a deal for you guys so um, but we're just going to show you the offense here uh, show you some of the things we're doing if you want the setups um, all you have to do is like I said just purchase a guide and uh, and you'll be able to get that so um, you know, definitely, definitely worth your money, in my opinion. I think it'll change the way the game's played this year. Um, just a lot of good stuff, and uh, and you should see some, you should see some good footage here from the offense and D. So, uh, really like this, guys. I hope you enjoy it, and um, finally able to get it out to you. Uh, the reason it took so long was I got the guide done, and then they patched the game. Uh, so I had to, you know, obviously had to make sure that the uh, the guide was still usable. Uh, and actually some of the things had to change offensively. It's actually been nice because we're able to update some of the things we're doing. And, uh, and guys, I really, really like the offense. Uh, I, I really like the offense. I think the guide is really going to help you. If you have issues beating man defense this year, this guide will destroy man-to-man uh, -man coverage, uh, this offense will. So uh, definitely, definitely something, in my opinion, that you need to check out. Um, and, and just we're going to show you everything. Uh, I think we have at least two hours of video video footage for the offense. Defense, I know uh, we're probably at about an hour and a half to two hours of footage. Um, and that does not include uh, we play two sample games. We play a mutt game and we play a head-to-head -head game. Um, so definitely definitely something that you guys are, you know, you, you should take advantage of because it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty solid stuff, pretty solid material this year. Um, so pretty excited to bring it to you. Um, wow, that was a nuts play. So right there, I just made the fundamental mistake of not reading the defense and talking too much, and I didn't, I wasn't paying attention to his blitz. So here on third down, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to really work. And there's two man under. Oh, and the other thing that's really cool about this, if you don't know, uh, we'll go and go for it. But um, one thing that's really, really cool about this guide um, is that if you guys play Mutt, we've actually we're actually able to develop a budget squad for you, and we have a full squad, a full 53 man or 55 man squad, and it's on Mutt Head. And so what you can do is you can get our exact lineup uh, while we have a video kind of talking about it we actually have a, uh, a full lineup that you can go and look at on mutthead.com um, and really something in my opinion if you are into mutt and you know what mutthead is I mean we go through every position and every single player is under 5,000 coins uh, in my opinion you're not gonna find that very many places uh, so definitely worth it. So you know, definitely check that out. I think the Mutt Guide is 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 worth the money of itself. Um, but uh, but yeah, we'll show you everything we do. Like I said, um, sometimes I get a little cute and try to do a little too much and take sacks and fumble with the ball. But for the most part, we we play pretty solid this year with the offense. So consistent games. Of, of high passing. I mean, passing is making a comeback. Um, if you guys like to throw the ball, this is the guide for you. Uh, we actually, and the cool part is, for those of you who like to run the ball, we have a really, really good running scheme that you can take out, take a look at as well. Um, so you could check that out. Um, but like I said, you know, this this is something that definitely, if you're into passing the football. Um, you know, definitely something that you should check out, take a look at. And there, Romo gave me a terrible pass. 
but um, but yeah, um, that's pretty much what we've got so far. Uh, the defense, real quick, I'll talk a little bit about that too. Um, so that was a, you're going to see a lot on the offense because, in my opinion, the the defense is similar. Um, it's a little bit updated, but it's still kind of the same. I feel like it's the same heart behind it, but um, but um, the defense. Oh, nice play by Edelman there to get in the end zone. Um, but seriously, for a sec here. Okay, so the... Uh, oh, by the way, here's the under center stuff. And we actually have a really cool little uh, play here for some other things that we can do as well. Um, let's see here. Get Kelvin Benjamin. Okay, so the defense, real quick... Um, what we've done is we have taken a new approach to playing defense, and uh, in my opinion, uh, Madden 16 has really, oh wow, that was a terrible run, <laughs> just had to beef up the running game, we just get stuffed, um, but the defense in this year's game is hard to say the least, um, you know, defense in this year's game has definitely changed a lot. Um, one of the things that we have done to accommodate that is we have actually taken a little harder look at how professional teams play. Uh, some of the defenses are great. Kind of look at some patterns and uh, and seen how they play. And we've actually, um, you know, kind of lined that up with how we want to play. Uh, and, and it's actually actually made a really, really big uh, impact on the field for us. So pretty excited to, to show you guys that stuff uh, as it's developing. But uh, here we go. So we'll hop in the D here. Um, but yeah, uh, there you see. There's one man pressure. Sent one sent one player, and we got in free. So for those of you guys that think we can't blitz here, because the defense is really not focused around blitzing, we still have pressure. But this defense is not necessarily not necessarily about uh, just about pressure. Um, it's about a lot of things. So, um, but yeah, that's just a little bit, um, I, and I know I won't be able to talk as much as we get into this. Uh, we're going to have some inside the mind gameplays as well coming up. Um, for those of you, like I said, the guy's going to show you the setups. Um, I'll talk a little bit about the uh, concepts. But uh, the cool part about this, um, for those of you guys that really are struggling defensively, um, like I said, you just saw one man come free. Um, but that's not just everything. Um, like I said, it's not just blitzes. It's going to be coverage defense. It's going to be um, the ability to stop the run, the ability to stop the pass, the ability to just play lockdown defense all year long. There you see blocks the halfback. We still get in. Aaron Lynch for, for a nice sack there. Um, so defense is starting off saw, strong. Offense went down, got six for us. Uh, we beat Devon at two-man under defense. So... So really showing some good signs here. Um, I thought about putting a little special team stuff in as well, but I'm not quite sure how you guys would take to that. I don't know if that would be worth a, a section in the guide because there's definitely some keys to special teams this year um, that I wanted to at least talk about a little bit. Uh, real quick, though, let's just talk game management for those of you that don't know. Um, Madden is more about game management than it necessarily is about talent. Um you know, obviously there is that talent aspect, but really the key is um, being able to manage your game plan and uh, and use the clock wisely. Um, so you're going to see a lot of things that I do that revolve around clock management. Um, so, like for example, if this was just me playing just to show off and just to have fun, I'd probably go back to the snugs and and run it some more, but I'm in my three-minute offense, you know, my four, or excuse me, my four-minute offense. What the four-minute offense principle states is that it's the whole idea that we don't want to give him the ball back because, you know, realistically, we can actually clock him out here and um, and be fine. Um, so, so definitely, we have that option. But, um, but yeah, that's. That's a little bit about us uh, for right now. Uh, what we're doing, so so game management, we're gonna use this. We're gonna check down into this three by or um, 
you know, this basic basic offense here, this ace scheme, and uh, and run the ball a little bit. Uh, one other pro tip here: when you're running the ball, don't go no huddle as much. Um, and as you just saw, why Jarek McKinnon could not get to the corner simply because Jarek McKinnon was tired. I mean, that's really what it comes down to. Jarek McKinnon was tired; he couldn't hit the corner. Uh, it's going to get us in fourth down and three. So, you know, so just so you guys are aware, I mean, that's a big thing, and, and and really it is. It it really is a big a big part of the game is being able to. Uh, you know, being able to recognize, you know, that you don't have to go in a huddle every play. You know, my pattern is to go ahead and go in a huddle almost every single play. And there you see him pass commit on fourth and three. And there you see the pancakes uh, from the big boy ball that we like to play. But, um, yeah, I mean, pretty simple, really. I mean, it's – and that's what I love about the offense is that we can play it so many ways. I mean, we have a heavy passing scheme. And then we have this running scheme, in my opinion, that's one of the best. It utilizes the inside zone from under center and shotgun. It uses the toss from from under center, which is actually pretty unique. Uh, one of our players here on the team, I should have double juked that back in, but uh, one of our players on the team, Taron Armstead, uh, he's a hidden gym, man. He's Road to Playoffs edition, and he has 83 speed. Um, so for this pulling for the pulling uh, mechanics of the game, you see he's able to get out there to the outside. Uh, the reason we snapped that is because he was off sides. And uh, like I said, we're going to go ahead and sub out Dree Archer. Uh, I just have a bad habit of going no huddle. And I'm trying to break myself of it. As you see here, I'm still kind of working on it. But... Um, but yeah, definitely a definitely a a, a different monster um, this year on both sides of the ball. Really, uh, a lot of people think that offense is pretty simple because of aggressive catching and things like that. And, and honestly, they're they're probably not wrong. But I think a pure passing offense is is really really different. Um, not a whole lot of people are you know truly passing the ball. Um, a lot of inside zones um, and a lot of four verticals. So. And, and, and that we say that as we're running inside zone. But, um, you know, we're running it for a specific purpose. Um, it's more for the clocking aspect. And while, you know, we don't want to admit that we do, you know, inside zone is still one of the hardest runs to stop um, in the game this year. So there we fake him out. There you see that 83 speed Armstead. And what a play by his guy. Um, Madden also, real quick, this is the game plan tip. Madden's about possessions. Um, it's not necessarily about points, and I say that a lot. The reason I say that is this. I'm going to go up by two possessions, whether I score a touchdown or a field goal, right? So that's what I need to be concerned with. Um, if I go for that there and he stops me, I'm still only up by one possession, right? Um, now, in a situation where it was, you know, if it was like, Say it was seven to eight, right? Say it was seven to eight right there, then you go for it. Reason being, if you make the field goal, you're still only up by one possession. You see what I'm saying? So because we're gonna go up by two possessions, that is the reason um, that I went ahead and kicked it. There's inside zone. There you see us. I mean we're in and that's inside zone. That's probably one of the better runs, and we only blitzed one player on that play. But, um, sorry, I'm just trying to play the game and commentate. Um, but yeah, like my mindset here, oh, my mindset here real quick. What I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to get to half, right? So, so I'm not really concerned with um, here I'm going to send pressure, but it's going to be very passive. All right, so I only blitz one. And there we got a nice little play receiver uh, and forced a punt. Now that we – see, we forced him a quick punt, and he's going to have to punt to us. We've got uh, two, 23 seconds left, so we're definitely trying to score it. 
Um, and I guess he's going to go for it. That's a really bad decision by him. Um, man, I don't know how he caught that ball. <laughs> I don't know how he caught that ball, but he did. Oh, uh, man, I don't know how he caught that. I do not know how he caught that ball. Oh, frick, man. All right, so we got to kind of back off a little bit. We got a little, I think we got a little happy with our blitzes early on. We were able to really sneak some pressure in early. We've kind of gotten a little happy with it. A little blitz happy. And there we are. We got double coverage. Nice play by Aaron Lynch. That's why you get a freaking legend. Or not a legend, but a team MVP. Uh, that was a big play by him. Uh, to stop that route. Um, so good stop by the D. We're actually going to call it T.O. here. I'll make a couple substitutions situationally. Um, I've actually been working on a play for this situation. And I'm not quite sure if it works 100% or not. Yeah, we'll go like this. And we'll put in Jury Archer over here. Right, yep, that'll work. Actually, we'll put Jury Archer in the slot. Um, but I've been working on a play for this situation. Uh, we have two timeouts, so we're just going to bomb it. Let's see if we can't hit Cooks or Benjamin deep. Yeah, that's okay. All right, so going to half, and we're up two possessions. He's going to get the ball. Let's we'll see what we can do here. I go with the short kick because I, I mean, I just don't. I just, I can't handle punt return, I can't, or kick return, I can't handle losing on special teams, so I just concede it, give him the ball at the 30, 25 range, and just say, okay, now let's play. He hasn't handled cover two very well, or cover two man under very well, and we get freaking raped on the inside zone, come on Aaron Lynch. So good play by him. I think we just got caught audibly and we had nobody over there. Well, that's a part of the game. Yeah. That kind of sucks. <laughs> that kind of sucks. We just completely blew the assignment. Oh, frickin' A. I didn't mean to do that move. Alright, so back into the standard offense because of the situation. We're going to have to get our guys subbed in pretty quick, though. standard um, the cool part about this offense is that we have so many plays um, that just work really really well as is um, and that's really the gifted aspect of the offense if you ask me um, the ability to have plays that just flat out are solid stock you don't have to do anything to them um, Man, Romo's giving me two sucky freaking throws. <laughs> Against two man under, you can't can't handle this sucky throwing crap. That three freaking <sighs> Romo. It's 
see, and that's the thing for me. The dilemma right now is quarterback. I don't really know if I should go with Romo or if I should go with somebody else, like somebody cheaper. Because like he has 95 deep throw, but like he misses throws, like, and it just drives me up the wall that I spend all those coins on him, and he misses so many freaking throws. Wow, what a tackle in the open field. What a play. Dang. Levante David. I feel like he makes a lot of plays. I'm going to look into getting him. I don't know why we're still in this under center stuff. I really like the under center stuff, too. And I know if you guys remember, that was actually the original thing that caught me on to this playbook was the ability to run the ball uh, under center with some success. Man, he's got some... Levante David is making some plays. He's got him in a really interesting spot, too. He's got him, like, on the line of scrimmage. So big down here. DeAndre Hopkins. So we're going to have to punt it. Yeah, that's kind of frustrating. DeAndre Hopkins has to make that catch. I don't have a very good punter. Freaking, I was trying something out with my punter, and I ended up picking, or I, I, have, I still haven't gone back to the original thing because the idea didn't, didn't work. see what we can do here. A little flat pass to the outside. Good read. There's inside zone. And see there's the... And see we're able to be pretty solid against the inside zone in my opinion. I mean, that was Tripp's halfback weak inside zone. That's one of the best inside zones in the game. Oh, I'm right there. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that's freaking frustrating. <laughs> There's inside zone. I don't know how he caught that ball. Man, he is catching some some weird, weird passes. So it's it, we're in a situation in this game that's really kind of interesting because. Just a weird situation we'll be in. Um, there you see the pressure. He blocked the halfback as well, guys. You see the pressure still comes in. Um, so that's something that's worth noting. I don't know why I'm having some trouble showing blitz. Out. Oh. How many drop picks are we going to have in this game? Alright, so in this situation, guys, 
This is where you bring it. He blocks crib. Of course he blocks crib, and we didn't... I should have just manned the stupid freaking guy up. You see how he's blocking, guys? This is my cue to stop blitzing. Um... Man, I cannot set a play up to save me. Oh my goodness. Seriously. This is America's offense, too. Not just America's offense. It's problem. Problem run. I mean, I mean he, he, he doesn't necessarily run this playbook, but, I mean, this is what he runs. Inside zone, verticals, slants. It's up to the offense to win the game. Defense defense gave up two big runs because we just got caught. I mean, there's no question about it. We just got caught audibly. For some reason, we could not get our adjustments in. And that's just the bottom line. Sometimes that happens. So, it's up to the offense right now to go in the game. Uh, now, what we've noticed is he's going heavy cover two. Now, for me, cover two is an interesting dilemma. Um... And the main reason is because it's the most easy defense to beat if you know it's coming, but it's like if you if it catches you, and he's got a good safety. I forgot about that. So this guy is, he's running a good little scheme here, um, but he's running a lot of cover two, cover three sets. Um, he's going back and forth like, He's got this quarters look as well. It's kind of interesting. So we'll see what we can do here. There's a big catch by Edelman. Of course, he falls backwards. Sloppy game. Started off real smooth, and then we got so super sloppy. There, we finally get a good throw from Romo. Make a good read. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh, I got so lucky. I thought I put the freaking back on an option route. I ended up putting him on a... I ended up putting him on a... Uh, a streak. This guy's doing a good job of mixing coverage up. Early on, it was just kind of standard stuff. But now he's kind of mixing it up on me. It's actually, it's actually kind of frustrating me a little bit because I haven't actually played a ton today. Pocket presence. I'm just kind of sitting on this cover, too, and waiting for him, and he's not running it, unfortunately. So I'm going to have to just do something else. Uh, big fourth down here. I'm almost tempted to throw the ball here on this one, but I'll probably keep it on the ground. <sighs> yeah, I think I'll quick snap him. I think I'm going to quick snap an inside zone. I've got three timeouts, so I'm not too worried. And he hasn't stopped inside zone all game. Big run by Archer right there. So a big spin move to get back inside. There's another good run. We'll stay we'll stay in this for a second. We're actually gonna try to catch him. 
Napping against the pass. Joe Webb's got an out. Let's get out of here with Joe Webb. Um, this is the most feared edition. Ah, freaking Joe Webb. I can't believe that just happened. I cannot believe Joe Flippin' Webb, of all people, got caught from behind. There's Dre Archer powering. Unfortunately, we got caught and we got to take a freaking timeout. Reason we're running it here, it's because he's in quarter. He's in quarter two man. Um, and quarter two man is not the best defense to be in when you're trying to stop, you know, a power running set. Uh, so we're going to see how long we can actually hold him in this. Not 40 seconds, so we got to start kind of being aware of the clock. And there's your pancakes. But freaking McKinnon just couldn't get through it. And Joe Webb sprained his MCL. I don't know what that freaking means, but he did it. Um, now we should have freaking not called that timeout there. I'm just kind of wondering when he's going to run commit, but he's just not. All right. shouldn't have called. Well, I keep thinking I'm going to pass the ball. <laughs> I, I, I really do. Like, I keep, like, thinking in my head I should pass, but I just, five-yard line, I just can't throw it. I can't, I can't bring myself to throw it. We'll toss it. We'll just go out of bounds there. Um, the reason we go out of bounds there, we don't want to chance the clock running against us. We'll take it at the three. I feel much more likely in my hopes. You know, uh, it's hard to stop you from inches this year. It really is. I mean, the bottom line is it's just hard to stop you um, from inches. We'll pitch it out again. We'll go out of bounds again. The two yard line here. This is a big chess match right here. I think he's going to guarantee we're going to be pitching this out. He goes outside. We're going to come back inside. And we're going to have to go no huddle here right into an inside zone five four three two snap it and we're in for six man that's a thrilling game what a game wow hope you enjoyed this one guys i mean that was a good game that was a lot of chess the guy, the guy was pretty good um offense put together a, a last second drive um i want to show you what i was going to do on passing the ball here real quick I don't I'm not really worried about throwing a pick because I've almost I don't think I've ever thrown a pick on this play but um, if I was gonna pass the ball in the same situation which you know we were looking at from the 10 yard and inline kinda passing it this is what I would have gone to right so I don't know what he's doing here he's mad that I'm trying to go for two but I mean it gives him another opportunity to win the game so I don't know why he's having an issue with it but um, in all seriousness I mean the cool part about the game was his defense was so good because like he had pressure so I had to feel a little bit of it um, the other thing that was good about it was just that it it just kinda made you think you know um, well that wasn't the play I wanted to show you something else but 
Anyways, that's what we've got for you. So, uh, good game. Uh, definitely a good game to watch. Uh, hopefully a good game for you guys to kind of see a, a pretty tight battle there. Uh, no turnovers on the offense. That's always good. That's the cool part about the way we played. We did play great, but we we did come out of it on top. So, uh, definitely a good play. I want to show you a key play here in the game. We both kind of played similar, but this first sack was huge. Um, this was on the first drive of the game. And this is some of the pressure you can get from the guide, guys. Watch, we're only going to blitz one guy. You see we're only blitzing one player, and we're coming clean, right? So so this pressure, he has, I mean, there's nowhere to go. I mean, literally, there is nowhere to go with the ball. You only see one guy blitzing, you think you're fine. The pressure just kind of snuck in on him, and really, he had a, a guy open here in the seam. Uh, on the four verticals, but the pressure comes in, makes the sack, and then we're able to get a punt. Um, so that was just a big, uh, just a big play there. Um, this sack was pretty big too, though. In his, in all right, all seriousness, even though we ended up scoring on this drive, I mean, this sack was huge. He's look at the pressure. You see the pressure. This made me kind of think. I mean, he sent five, and got two free. Now we have our back open in the flat, but I didn't want to throw it because it's on a wheel. And really, there was nowhere to go. The drag was not really clean. So I mean, it was just a bad play call by me uh, because I called a, a you know a, a coverage beating play against pressure, and you see the result. Um, but just a really good play by him. Great pressure. We were just able to deliver the or we weren't able to deliver the ball there. But um, you know, this is some of the stuff you're going to get from the guide here. What you're going to see is you know just some quick quick plays. Um, this was the key. His pressure here on this side, um, he was having some trouble getting that in because we were sliding our line, and uh, and so we were doing a good job there. I don't know if we got sacked again though. He didn't send that pressure at us too much, um, but I do want to kind of show you. Oh, this fourth and ten. This was just bad defense um, by me. This was bad play calling. You know, I mean, I have good plays, but good play calling beats good plays any day of the week. So what you're gonna see here is I'm going to set up some heat, or I'm trying to go back to that one-man pressure, right? Well, the problem is with the one with that play is I didn't pay attention to the slot receiver. And so I tried to drop the safety into a hook, and for some reason he got caught, and I just forgot my assignment was that guy, and I let him wide open. And, I mean, really, he made just a great catch. Uh, you know, made a great catch against some coverage. But I want to see if he sacked me anymore. I don't know if he did or not. No, we sacked him there. Here we go. Let's look at this. Maybe I got pressured here. Or this was the bad throw, right? So so this was another thing he did was he would use base rushes, right? So he's only sending four here, just a basic drop, basic cover two. And, I mean, that one almost made me pay. I didn't see Edelman breaking late, right? I should have checked it down, but I thought I could catch Hopkins, but he just didn't make a good play on the ball there. Um, let's see what happened on this one. Oh, terrible throw by Rome. I had a, I had a couple of those bad throws. Let me see what he did from a pressure standpoint. After that, really, that first hit of double pressure, I didn't feel too bad on my cup, on my my pat or my uh, pressure pickup capabilities. I mean, here you see a guy comes free, but I'm able to get rid of the ball quick enough. Um, the cool part about this offense is that you get the ball out of your hands quick. Um, this was a big play. This was the inside zone run, and what you're going to see here is situationally, I think this was a third down and long, and I just I just kind of dummy. We didn't get set up, and then we. You know, my safety is up top. My safety is actually supposed to be down in the box there. And we just did not get set up at all. And then you see just a complete pancake because I'm pretty sure we pass committed. And I'm scrambling around trying to set up the D. And I get caught and I just, and Archer just beats me to the corner and goes for 70 yards. And he did that twice. Um, now this was the key here. So... This was a bad call. I mean, I mean by all means. I mean it wasn't it wasn't too bad of a call, but 
it just, I mean, he just played it well, you know, so we got stopped, and we just had to go back, but um, what we were thinking is faking the quick pitch to the left and running in behind it, the only problem with that is Max Williams, number 87 here, did not hold his block, and so we need to make that adjustment, we need to put Lee Smith where Max Williams is next time, so we're going to make that adjustment on our, on our running plays. Um, but I want to see, I don't know if he freaking, I don't know that he, let's see where we're at, I think we're back here a ways, what, oh, here we are, alright, so here we're going to hit Hopkins for 20, now, that we actually ran this play earlier in the game, and here you see just base rush, base two man, the problem was he, Romo made a bad throw, uh, but here you see us deliver the ball, get up field, get some big yardage there. Um, I don't think he's gonna show. I don't think he's gonna show anything. This was a big play. This 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 right here. I don't know. This one really frustrated me. We had a perfect call on defensively. We were gonna send our base rush. He ends up blocking, but we we made a we didn't make a very good read. He blocked crib right, so he blocks his tight end, his halfback. He picks up our pressure because we're only sending five guys, right? And and we just mess up. It was just a blown coverage, and he delivers it for a big gain. And then right after that, he gets the run, and it was a, it was literally like a almost the same exact situation. We just didn't get set defensively, and we just didn't recognize that he was in his you know trips running set, and he just freaking. Pancake, 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 going to the house for six. Makes a good juke, and he's gone. So, but yeah. Um, here's the touchdown run, if you didn't miss it. If you missed it, here it is. So right here, um, the read was just he hadn't stopped it. He hadn't stopped inside zone all game. So we just go to it in a clutch moment, and uh, he's probably expecting a pitch, and that's the beauty of the quick snap. Um, sometimes you, you know, sometimes you make the play and sometimes you don't. And that time we did, we got lucky. Uh, let's take a look at the message he sent me. thought he sent me one. Guess he doesn't. Hmm. Oh, he sent me a friend request. J Slayer 16, good game, man. But um, but yeah. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, these uh, guides are on sale. I know that you know we didn't look completely smooth. We played a really good player. Uh, we ended up coming out on top. Uh, so definitely, definitely, definitely worth your read on that. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. A um, couple things as we close. Um, the guys are ten dollars each, right? So the Arizona offense is ten dollars. The New England defense is ten dollars. Now they're both have video footage lasting over three hours long. Um, if you want to buy both of them together in a bundle, you can get them for fifteen dollars, right? So only five dollars more, and you can get the, you know, if you if you're buying the New England offense for only five dollars more, you can get the Arizona offense. So, so definitely worth your worth your money, in my opinion. Like I said, we got a lot of footage, uh, a lot of things covered in the guide. So. Definitely